Welcome back everybody, this is Always back with the next video of Bootstrap Essential Training Series. So in the last video I've shown you how to create a Jumbotron and I've already explained how to create a navigation bar which is a responsive navigation bar and we have seen the introduction of Bootstrap as well. Now in this video we are going to look at grid system. Grid system are the most important things that you need to learn in Bootstrap because this is the main reason why people use Bootstrap framework to lay out the web pages. Now, Bootstrap includes a responsive, mobile-first, fluid grid system that appropriately scale up to 12 column as the device or viewport size increases or decreases. It includes predefined classes for easy layout option as well as powerful minix for generating more semantic layouts. Now, let me give you an example of one of the website basically from Bootstrap. So let's go to Bootstrap website. We go to Expo and here we will see one of the website. Let's just say Creative Team. We open this website and inside this uh, it's uh, the grid system has been used as well. So if we go down here, so as you can see, these are the grid base. Basically we have this uh, 12 column grid which is divided by three columns so this image the first one is taking four columns and the second one taking four and then third one taking four as well so it's four plus four plus four it's 12 so that's what we're gonna be doing so here same thing it's been used 12 columns been used and if we look at any other website from here so we could see if there are more columns used. So let's open this website in this CS and inside this we should have some more columns. So right now these basically are the columns as well. So we have this uh, first column which is taking up to I think let's just say six and then we have this three here and three here so it's made up 12 columns. Now let's go back to bootstrap documentation for a grid system. Let's click on CSS and let's go to Quit System. So here we can see here, so Bootstrap includes a responsive, mobile first, fluid grid system that appropriately scale up to 12 columns. So you need to pay attention to 12 columns. So right now we can see we have the grid system of 12 columns in Bootstrap. Let me give you an introduction. So there are a few things you need to pay attention. So if you create a row within a with within a like grid system so you need to create a row and a column that's what grid system is right so row must be placed within a container or container fluid so we have this row once we create a row and then we create a column inside the row so in ev inside every row there are 12 columns we can divide those 12 columns into like 12 pieces six pieces or three pieces it doesn't really matter we have the media queries here and these are the grid system options here so we have four kinds of grid systems uh, so small column if you type this class dot call dash xs dash and then the number of columns you want to allocate this so if your browser gets smaller than 768 pixels which most probably are the mobile devices then this is going to get applied and if your devices as greater than equal to 768 pixels which is kind of tablet so this is what going to be applied now we have the medium size devices desktop and large size devices which are more than 1200 pixels so right now we, i'm on the mac pro so we have the large device desktop so we'll look at all of them now this is an example as you can see here we're using a medium column here so one two three four five six so these are the 12 columns on the second line, they have divided those 12 columns into two. So the first column is taking eight out of 12 and the rest we have four left. So that's what four is. Now we divided these uh, columns into three pieces. So four, four, four equal to 12. So these are three columns. Then we have divided this uh, medium column into two pieces by giving it six and six. Right, so let's uh, go and apply this into our code so to demonstrate that i'm going to open this grid system.html class and here we are going to start with our grid system 
So every grid or every column in a row must be inside the container. So let's do that. So we're going to start with the div tag class is going to be container. And then we just close that div tag. So inside that div tag, first thing we need to create a row. So to create a row, start a div tag, write class, and this is going to be a row. And inside that, now we can create a column. Now let's start with another div tag. And class, now we can use call. So as you can see, there's so many classes here. So we have the large, we have the medium, we have SM, which is small, access, which is a mobile version. First, let's look at the large one. So we use dash L D and I'm going to give a value of one here. So to demonstrate you guys, you guys get the better understanding what's happening here. So let's just save the file and we will see our page now. If I refresh, you won't see anything right now because the grid is there, but it doesn't have any border, it doesn't have any color. So what we can do, we can create a style. So inside, ins instead of using style.css, that's what we're using for the project, but we'll just do that just quickly, style tag here. And inside that type text slash CSS and let's just close this and inside that I'm going to create a class so let's just say call color and inside that what we need to do is background oops background and let's just give a color of uh, very green and we'll just give a border as well of one pixel and just make it solid color we'll just give it ah, red whatever okay now let's save the file and now I'm going to add another class to our column the class is going to be call color save the file and now if I refresh the page and you will see we have the column there you see that small line there but we don't have anything yet inside that so what we can do I'm going to write here let's just say uh, grid system save the file and there we go so we have the grid system so right now you can see that we are getting one column out of 12 so we are using one column out of 12 but what if I change the 1 to 12 here let's save the file and now we're using all 12 columns let's save the file and there we go so we got the 12 columns so if I just decrease the size it doesn't really do anything because we have only one column in the row so let's just uh, copy and paste this all right and let's just save the file and now we're going to, we are using like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 12, 12, 12, 12. Well that's not gonna work because that uh, let's just save the file and refresh the page. As you can see we are going to get like 12 lines here. But what if we want to use the, the column within the same line? So we need to divide the 12 column into pieces. So I'm just going to get rid of this and we're going to divide this two into three pieces. So now let's just uh, make it three. We're going to use three out of 12 and make this three out of 12 as well. So that add up to 12. Let's save the file. I'm going to refresh the page and there we go. So we got one, two, three, four. So we divided that 12 columns into four pieces. So now we have a column large that three done. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to create another container here I'm just going to paste it save the file and let's give a space here now instead of using large I'm going to use the medium now so let's just type MD 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 all right so now what it's going to do 
Let me show you the bootstrap documentation in the grid system. Alright, so now what we're telling you that if the browser pixels get lower or equal to this 970 pixel, then apply this column, then apply this, all right? So whether we divide this to three or four, it's going to divide that. Let's just do that. So let's just uh, delete one line and let's just uh, make it four, four, four. Save the file and now let's refresh the page and we are dividing three, right? So if I just go down and as you can see, on the medium breakpoint, it's basically going to, into one column. I don't want to do it. I just want to keep make sure that I get the three columns until I get to the small, which is going to be the mobile version. So for that, what we can do, we are going to change this to SM, SM, save the file, and let's refresh the page. And I'm going to decrease it down. And as you can see on the tablet, it is still getting us three columns here. I'm going to decrease the file and this is the tablet mode. And when I just take my browser size to less than that dimension, which is 700, uh, 750 pixels, so that's when it's going to divide them into three into lines, right? So let's go back to the code and we are going to change this to X, S, XS, XS. I save the file and I'm going to refresh it. And as you can see, even on the mobile version of the side, it's going to stay at the three column. All right, so this is how grid system work. And now we are going to add a few things to it. So let's just say I want to delete all of these and I want to add a few more uh, images. Let's just say add the images. So let's start a div tag and we can <coughs> create a class. So first class is going to be call large and I'm going to give it a value of, let's say, I'm going to divide that into two. So let's just type six. So we have 12 columns. We divided them into two. That's going to be six. And then I'm going to close this. And then inside that, we will just add an anchor or an image, or maybe just type the text for now. So we use the H3, H3, and inside that, grid 1, and close that as well. So let's just uh, copy and paste this three times. Copy, paste, paste, paste. So right now we can see we have about one, two, three. Let's just save the file and we have one, two, three, is four. So what I want to do at the large uh, resolution, I want to keep that into four. So we'll just divide that to three, three, which will be equal to four, four uh, columns. Now, even inside the class, I'm going to try one more thing. So I want to just add another class called dash MD. So on the medium break point, I want to keep them to, let's just say six. Okay. So on the medium break point, I want to make sure that it says it's two column grade now. So what I can do, I can just copy this and let's just paste it here and then paste it here paste it here as well now let's just save the file and refresh the page and as you can see we are getting this full grid but if i just raise the size and then on the medium breakpoint i'm getting this uh, two column layout we're going to increase the size again let's go back and then add another class here that's going to target our small so x S and I want to keep that into let's just say uh, four column to demonstrate that you get a better idea. So let's just copy this and paste it here, paste this here as well. Let's just save the file 
And now when, once I'm going to decrease it, it's going to go to two column layout. And then if I go down, it's going to one, which is a SM right now. So if we keep going down on the XM, on the XM it's going to go to, what is it? So three columns, we should have four columns. So that's XS, 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 right? So let's just uh, let's refresh the page actually. There you go, I didn't refresh the page. So let's just go back and we have the four columns. We get two columns, we get four columns again. And then even on the mobile version, because we are dividing the 12 column into four pieces by giving it three, three, three. So take up to three columns, first line, second column. So as you guys can see that we still got four columns there. Well, I think you guys will get a better idea when we work on the actual project. So this is the project what we've been looking at. I will just uh, complete the Bootstrap Essential Training. And once I'm done with it, I will do a full project of Bootstrap Training. Like I'll create a full-fledged website including some uh, these animations as well with the CSS. As you can see here, we, we go to the JavaScript part of the Bootstrap. We have some transition. We have drop downs, tab, tooltip, popovers, so all of these. We'll cover them in step by step. And after we're done with the bootstrap, then I will create a full fledged website. Alright, so I hope you guys understood the grid system. Basically, 12 columns you can divide in into 4, 6, 8, whatever you want to divide them. So, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for that. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Cheers.